Hey, this is Jacob, and I'll be your guide around Better Mode. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to manage members and staff in your community. So without any further ado, let's jump in. To manage members, we can click on our profile picture and select administration. This will bring us to the member section. From here, we can see a list of all of the members in our community. And if we scroll across to the right until we see the three dots, we can then manage our members. If we click on the three dots, we can perform multiple actions, such as going to view their profile, editing their profile, suspending the member, and even removing the member from the community. You can also add filters to filter this member list, and you'll be filtering by the profile fields that they have in their community. You can just click the add filter button here to do so. Now, what are profile fields? Let's go to the profile field section to explore these options. We're gonna select profile fields in the same people menu, and this is the customizable fields that you can add to a member profile to collect more information about your members. To add a field, you can simply choose one from our suggested fields, or you can even create your own for your own use case. To create your own, you can click on add fields, and then you can select one of the following options. Inside these options, you can even manage more advanced options, such as who can see this field and even who can update this profile field. Once you're happy, you can just click Create. Now that we understand a little about profile fields, let's check out a member profile. I'm gonna go back to my homepage, I'm gonna select my profile picture, and I'm gonna select your profile. From here, members will be able to update their profile, such as adding a profile image, which we can do by clicking on the profile image here. They can also edit their profile by clicking on the Edit Profile button. This will bring up a list of all of the different profile fields that you have in your community. They can also edit their profile by clicking on the Edit Profile button. Once this information is filled out, it's displayed in the About section. Now that we've seen the member profile pages, let's see what else we can do with profile fields. We're gonna to go to the directory space and I'm gonna press C to enter the customization area. And then I'm going to go into the settings of this members block. The members block will display all of the members in your community. And I'm gonna go into the default view. And if I open up filters here, this is the inline filtering options that we have in this block. So when I click on inline filtering, you can see all of the field and I can decide if I want to display them or not. You can simply toggle these on and they'll display above the members area. Members can then come in and filter these searches so they can find other members that meet their requirements. Now that we've seen how a member directory can work using profile fields, let's go to our account settings to see how they work. I'm gonna go back to my community homepage and I'm gonna click on the profile picture again and go to account settings. This is where your members can manage their individual accounts. In the account section, they can update things like their email, their language preference, and even their passwords. In the notification area, they'll be able to manage all of the notifications that they receive from the community. Next, we have messaging, and this will only appear if you have direct messaging available in your community. From here, members can opt in and out of using the direct messaging feature, and they can also see any members that they may have blocked. And lastly, we have the appearance section. This will only be visible if you have duo themes activated in your community and this will allow your members to choose between light and dark mode. Let's turn our attention to staff. I'm once again gonna go back to my homepage. I'm gonna click on my profile picture and I'm going to administration. This time, I'm gonna select staff. And this is where I can assign members as staff in the community. Now there are three roles in better mode. The first role is admin. Admins can do everything in the community from customizing the layout to managing moderation and to adding and removing members and posts. You also have moderators who are able to moderate all of the content in the community, as well as adding and removing members. And then you have space admins. Space admins manage a space or a series of spaces, depending on what you allow them to do. They'll be able to moderate the individual space and they'll be able to add and remove members from those spaces. So how do we add a member of staff to our community? We can click on the add staff button select the member that we want to make a staff member. We can then assign them a community role. I'm gonna assign moderator in this instance. And then if we want to make them a space admin, we can assign some spaces for them to admin. I'm going to select introduce yourself section. And once I click add, 
this user has now been added as a moderator. How about a space admin? Again, we can click add start. I'm then going to select member from the community role, and then I'm going to assign some spaces for that person to be a space admin of. They're going to be a space admin of events and discussions. And then I'm going to click add. And there we go. We've created a space admin in our community. Well, that was an overview of how to manage members and staff in your community. In the next video, we're going to go over access and permissions. I'll see you again in the next video.